For the startup procedure for the Navigator, we'll come to the home screen on the Raymarine display. We will first do two checks before we actually start up the chart. The first check will be to check the satellites and the H-dot position. So by selecting the top left corner and we'll choose satellites. So once we see that the H-dot is less than two, in this example you'll see that it's 1.2, we've got a good solid fix with an accuracy of three, just over three feet. So all we have to do is we can just X out of this screen, we'll back into our home screen. And then what we want to do is we want to check what datum we're sitting at. By selecting system and units, on the bottom right corner you'll see the system datum here. This is where we want to check the North American 1927 Canada mean. That's the system that we need to be set on to operate in the Shuswap Lakes. Simply select the X button and we're back to start on our navigation. As one of the important factors when you're the navigator is to always know exactly where you are. And the next step is then to know exactly where you're gonna go in a safe manner. On this screen, we're gonna open up the charts and we're gonna find out where exactly we are and we're gonna learn how to set waypoints, we're gonna learn how to navigate to the waypoints and navigate safely. So by pressing the chart icon on the screen, it will bring us to our chart and where the vessel is. It'll default to the vessel being in the center of your screen. As mentioned before, we can scroll in by turning clockwise with the rotary knob, or actually we can hit the plus and minus icons on the bottom to zoom in and zoom out. As mentioned in one of the other videos, another pop-up menu on the screen allows us to see data that is necessary for navigating safely. By simply scrolling your finger from left to right, we'll bring up a pop-up menu that'll show our vessel position, our course over ground, and our speed over ground. Should you wish to remove the data screen to see more chart, simply press the X button on the top of the data screen. During the initial startup procedure, we want to just verify that we're in a heads up mode. And that gives us the orientation of the boat to make sure the chart is always straight up to where we're traveling and the chart's going to move in the different orientation as our boat travels. We'll select the menu item on the top of the screen and choose the settings button down below. On the center of the screen, you'll see a view and motion icon and you'll make sure that we're in a heads up mode just by checking the heads up option and now you can select X and the charts in the heads up mode. Another button we want to look at is the back button. This actually allows us to escape back to our original to original screen if we want to if we accidentally get into a screen we don't want to be for instance the waypoint option if we press it by accident we don't want to put in a waypoint just hit the back button that'll bring us back to square one on the chart screen. Another feature of the chart plotter is the man overboard function. Similar to putting in a waypoint, you'll press and hold the waypoint button for three seconds and it'll give you a man overboard function. This has now set the waypoint at the point where the person went overboard. It's given you a bearing of where the person is in the water and a range of how far away you are from that person. It'll give an alarm sound every 30 seconds until it's acknowledged. To cancel the man overboard function, simply acknowledge the waypoint, then press the X on the top of the screen, and then press yes to continue. The man overboard function is now canceled, and you can now carry on navigating as originally planned. There are multiple ways we can present where the boat is on the chart. By simply scrolling it around with our finger, can move the boat around, but sometimes the boat can disappear. If we need to find out where it is, we can just hit that center button and the boat will appear in the center of the screen. Let's place a waypoint on the chart. We can place a waypoint on the chart simply where the boat is, is by simply pressing the waypoint button here and pressing OK. That is actually placed a waypoint right in the center of the screen where the boat is. You'll see as we start moving away, the X marks the spot where you place, press the waypoint. Should we wish to place a waypoint away from the boat, 
at a certain spot, just in this example, say we're going to actually start navigating through this channel. What we can do is press a waypoint. We want a waypoint right where that X is, right where the crosshairs are. Let's simply press and hold on the screen. The, uh, the pop-up menu will come up that will allow you to place the waypoint and hit OK. And we've, pressed a we've actually put a waypoint in right at that spot. So we've just placed three waypoints to start a route. Another thing we can do with waypoints is delete them, move them, edit them. We've placed a waypoint fairly close to the edge of the channel. So by pressing and holding on the waypoint, it'll bring up a pop-up menu. So let's, by pressing down more options, we can edit, move, and delete. So in this case, we're going to delete and confirm that we want to delete the waypoint. So now we've removed it off of the screen. Let's try putting a waypoint a little closer to the center of the channel by pressing and holding for the pop-up menu. And our new waypoint is in a better location where we'd like to enter the channel. Let's try moving that waypoint. Let's press and hold if we want to move that select the move button and we can move it anywhere on the screen and just say we want to do it right there so now when we've got the position we've got a waypoint where we'd like to just hit the save button on the top left and our new waypoint is saved another way to add a waypoint to your chart by simply adding the latitude longitude position is done this way selecting the menu item we'll go to waypoints select the waypoint option and you'll see we have an option here to press new waypoint this is where we can type in the actual number the latitude and longitude position that we want to add and just hit save so let's look at building a route we've placed three waypoints on our screen what we want to do is now select the first waypoint and choose build a route. Then we'll choose the second waypoint and we'll say use waypoint. That's got our two, our first leg of the route built and we're going to press our last one and use waypoint. And now that we got our three waypoints connected, we can choose finished route build on the top of the screen and we'll say follow that follow the plan so you'll see that our data has now pulled up on the left side of the screen it's now telling us what bearing we want to follow and the distance to that waypoint the distance is one nautical mile at a bearing of 10 degrees you can see that we have the three waypoints marked in our route and we have started navigating toward the first waypoint You'll notice that because of the blue X. That's our first waypoint. An acknowledgement screen will appear that allow you to accept that waypoint. So once you choose OK, the next, the next waypoint in the list will automatically engage and your navigation will select the next waypoint. At any point during the navigation, you want to cancel the, cancel the route simply press anywhere on the line and choose stop. You'll notice all the data in the data screen will disappear for our navigation. The vessel position, course over ground and speed over ground will remain active. With our chart system you have the option to use an existing route that you've already set up in the past. To choose one of your existing routes simply press the menu button, choose your waypoints and route option and press routes. All the routes you have saved will show up on the list. Press the route you'd like to follow and hit the follow button. So at this point it's saying well we're already on the first waypoint. It's now navigating to the, follow, the next waypoint in the list. At this point you'll see the route appear on the screen and the navigation information you'll need to follow.
Another feature on the chart plotter is the track function. This allows us to track the vessel's position throughout a mission. To start the track, sim simply press on, press on the boat and select the start track option. Choose OK. And now you'll see as the boat starts moving, a line will appear behind the boat that'll show us where the boat has been. When we want to stop the track, simply press and hold on the boat, select the stop track option. If we want to save that, select save or delete if we don't want to keep it. If there's a situation where we need to save the track, simply save that track. Navigating to any place on the chart can be done by simply selecting the menu icon on the top right and hit go to. At this point we'll have the option to go to a waypoint, follow a route, we can enter a lat long position or even a nearest spot on the, on the chart.